How you doing, people? Welcome back to this back at I mean. Have this Mercedes Benz 2013 Benz GLK 350. I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, front brakes, how to replace the uh, rotors, the brake pads, how to do some maintenance to the uh, to the braids, know what I'm saying, grease and all that, know what I'm saying, but before I jump into the action, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, um, that's one way to support my work, to support the channel, uh, like, share, and comment, whatever you have in mind, know what I'm saying, anything you have in mind, anything you want to say, put in the comment box, as soon as I see it. I reply more or less come with me uh, let's get it uh, as to Buru 2013 Mercedes Benz GLK 350 in the title I'm gonna put the uh, the generation and what years apply for this uh, type of work okay um check the description too know what I'm saying um pretty much yeah let's get us to the bottom this is uh one bolt here uh look at that uh uh, one here that I hold the bracket, the other one over there. The other bolt. Uh, on this one, you don't see the uh, the sensor. This is the pass uh, driver side, okay. On the passenger side goes the uh, brake sensor, the one that I go there. I'll show you how it looks like. It's not that crazy though, but we get to that once I replace the whole thing. All right, so let's get it. Okay, let me give you some light too. Is that better? Let me see. I'm trying to give you a good light here though. How's that? I think that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Let's get it. Let me get my gloves. I'm sorry. So, how was your Christmas? Have you had it? Uh, had a good time? With your family, with yours, with your people, you know what I'm saying? With your gang. <sighs> Alright. Let's see. This is going to be 15, okay? 15 millimeter socket. Okay. So the one on top, okay. You're probably gonna have to hold this guy right here, so it doesn't spin when you uh, try to remove the uh, that stud. Let's see. Oops. Yep. Gotta hold it. Don't uh, the new brake pads come with those those bolts? So 
don't worry about that. The one on top. Now we can remove the caliper. Right. I think there you go. I want to put it here. I'm gonna push the piston, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay. Grab the brake pad. The same you remove. Okay, the same one. Now, you can grab this guy. This is the tool for that. You can get it on Amazon or your... Or your... Um, Auto parts store. But if you're gonna get it from Amazon, I think it's better in Amazon. They give you like 60 days, oh no, 30 days to try it. I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it here so you can see what I'm doing exactly. Put it like that. Now I'm turning this knob clockwise now pushing this pushing the piston and yeah, I'm kind of helping it on this side with my hand you see it. Uh, that's it. Try now counterclockwise to release the pressure. Now if you want to do it with your hand, don't put the pad all the way at the bottom because it's gonna be kinda it's gonna be dragging. It's gonna be dragging it. Okay. So try to put it like like that not touching the the walls because kind of defeat the purpose to help it by hand all right now i'm gonna hang this caliper i want to get it out of the way okay just like that like that all right now I want to remove this bracket whoa give it some light is that better let me see throw away those pads yeah should be good I'm gonna use 14 14 here Fourteen millimeter ratchet, or I mean socket. This one is being a little bit special, so I'm gonna use my pry bar. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the same on the one on top. There you go. 
Now I can use my impact gun. And remove that guy. Impact, impact, impact gun. Okay. All right, that's one. I'm just using a regular 14, okay? Ooh. This one doesn't come on the, in your brand new uh, brake pad spots. Alright, this is how it looks like. You get the hardware though in the brake pads uh, bots. Okay. Now let me show you something. Um now I'm gonna remove that bolt that hold the uh hold the um the rotor. I'm gonna. I'm about to give you the uh, part numbers and all that. Okay. Just bear with me. And you know what? I'm gonna hit it here, so you kind of break loose inside, inside there. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. You saw that? That's how I do. Now, rotor come out. Ah, this is the. Uh, okay, it's a small short. Okay. I'm gonna clean this. <sighs> Always wear your safety glasses, huh? Eh? Pretty much it. Now I'm gonna spray some uh, WD-40 in the uh, in the how you call this the um, the threads of uh, where you put the uh, the studs the the tire uh, the studs because I had some. Uh, It was it, it was it was difficult to remove, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me show you. Okay, so so yeah, uh, I'm gonna spray some WD-40 in the studs too because you know what I'm saying. What the? I think this car been sitting for, or didn't get the right uh, service. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same with the other bolts too. 
because they're rusty and all that. Uh, then I'm just gonna spray this. Some brake cleaner, you know I'm saying. So this is a. Uh, this is the uh, Ted Star. Ted Star. Uh, uh, the brake rotor. Ted Star. Made by Ted Star. You see it. And that's a part number right here. Alright. 92119905. Okay. Too much light, maybe. Alright. Sorry. There you go. Alright. So this guy right here got a match with the you know with this guy okay so you can put this little one in there all right there you go All right. That's pretty much it. Now the um, the bracket. Let me show you the bracket real quick. Now this guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner here. And then uh, I'm gonna brush it, okay? Just to clean it, I'm gonna reuse it though because once I clean it, you'll see that uh, it's not a, uh, it's not that bad. All right. Look how it looks now, okay? Now you're gonna see how it looks like when I'm done brushing it. If now you see that if this thing is cracked or missing a piece or some or then you replace it though. But now you can reuse it. So it's good. Right? It's, it's good. All right, you see that? Gucci. These are the bolts that hold the bracket. So I'm gonna clean this. You see that? So I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna brush it too, but with the machine. All right, there you go, nice clean. I'm gonna put some up. Lactite. This should be enough though. This is what I do though. Know what I'm saying okay that's for the bracket and also the bracket now that is out I want to put the the lubricant here okay some people put it in the brake pads well I mean but I put it here because here is where the brake pad is gonna slide in and out Huh? Now I'll put it back. Oh, let me give you some light. For better experience. 
know what I'm saying? Oh, all I gotta, all I gotta do for you guys. She pulls. Line it, put it there. Gucci. The other one, the same. Gucci. When I tied it with the uh, impact and the 14. Let me take this car out of the way. Should be good. Now the brake pads. Oh, let me give you the part number. Is it, is, it, is it better like this or like this? I don't know. But uh, yeah, the number is 248701. All right. You decide which angle you want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Made by Ted Star also. Okay. Now this side is not going to use this sensor, okay? So, all I got to do here, because usually, th this is how it looks like. Okay, you see a difference? This is this thing. Here's where you put the sensor. Usually, the one with the sensor goes in. Just like that. Do the same here. Put it in this angle like that. But that's it. Remote this. Okay. Um. Check the sliders. They good. Now we just proceed to put the caliper back. All right, just like that. Like so, boom. These brake pads come with new uh, studs. You remember in the beginning? I drop it because I don't care about them because I'm gonna get new ones. And it come with uh, some type of a uh, Loctite. All right. Now with the same. Uh, 15 millimeter socket. You see, I gotta hold it at the bottom. All right, then that's what I wanna do. the same on top <sighs> dang a snug it You see at the bottom is still still spinning. I'm gonna hold it here. the same on top <clears throat> I 
be good. That's pretty much it. Now, come with me. Show you what's next. Oh yeah, let me show you the sensor. This is on the on the passenger side. Okay, so this thing you're just gonna push it in. Okay. This thing, just pull it, disconnect from here. All right. There's a, a bolt. You remove the bolt, this thing is gonna like, uh, you know, because this bolt is holding this thing. And here comes the sensor. The sensor is just this, the cable, and that thing that I said is in the, in the brake pad, all right. So you just remove this though, okay? All right, so now, come here, step on the brake, brake pedal. It's gonna be soft. It's gonna start getting hard, pause, stop playing with me. Now it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Because the piston now is, uh, is pressing the brake pad all the way, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to open the hood, there's a, a red, pull it down, that's how you open the hood, come here, boom, you don't need to hold the hood though, okay, because it has these pistons on each side, okay. Now here, it seems like it's kind of low. What you think? You see it? The fluid is right here. It's right here. That's a minimum, you see it. Minimum. You see the fluid right there. Shake it too, you can shake it. All right. It's supposed to be where it says mats. All right. So we're gonna top it off with some uh, brake fluid. The cap is gonna tell you only that four plus brake fluid. Okay, so we're gonna grab the uh, brake fluid that four. All right. Now we're gonna pour it until it reach the the match level. There you go. That's good. Put the cap back. Close the hood. Road test. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy. Um, all you gotta do now is road test it. Uh, when you road test it, brake like this. Step on the brake pedal like this. Go between 30, 40 miles per hour and then step on the brake pedal like this. Gradually, okay? Don't do it like this. Do it like this. In that way, the, the new brake pedal, I mean the new brake pad, is going to get used to the new rotor and you're not going to have no sound later. I mean, that means that everything is good. All right, so thank you for watching. You know where to find me. Sastu, Puru, Hala, boy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to like, if you want to contribute to the channel, Right below this screen, there's a heart. It says stance. That's super tense. Click on that so you support my work, support the channel. All right. And I'm going to leave it right here. If I don't see you, Happy New Year. Holla at your boy. I'm out, dude. Yeah.